So welcome to the last edition of Power Weeks, as we have covered almost all the features. Now, it is Friday, DAX Fridays, and uh, there is no DAX functions or no new DAX functions released on this September 2018 uh, update version of Power BI Desktop. But there are actually a few DAX functions released in the previous versions, like a month ago or two months ago, that I have not covered. So I thought, how about I cover them here as a part of the statistical set, uh, series that I'm doing. I've seen your votes. You told me loud and clear that you want me to continue. So how about we continue with the new features that they release? So what we're going to do today is, what is the probability that Kevin Durand will score 36 points in the next match? If you want to find out, stay tuned. Okay, so again, very, very short. This is a number four, video number four of a statistical series I'm doing. To get a full grasp of this, go and check video two and three, mean, average, and standard deviation. Then this will make more sense, okay? But for those of you that have been following along, we're going to see what the probability of is of Kevin Durant scoring 36 points on the next match. And for that, we're going to use a function called norm dist. So here in Power BI, you can see our handsome Kevin. What we are going to do is, as you remember, we have both Kevin and LeBron, but LeBron did not have a normally distributed data set, so we are not going to use his. But we're going to copy the shape of the data here. So this is the scores that Kevin Durant had the last season in 2017, I believe. And they are fairly normally distributed, not really 100%. And what we are going to do now is what the norm dist function does, which is calculate probabilities of something happen, happening. So here we have the data points from Kevin. If we look at it, it looks fairly distributed, normally distributed, not really, it's a little bit skewed, but... And we say, what is the probability that Kevin will score 36 points? It's here. Okay, so let's go and calculate that. Let's see how we do it. So we create a new measure. And here we write probability of score norm dist. And then the first thing we need to add is the value that we want to predict. So in this case is score. Then we need to add the mean or the average. It's the same thing from the run, of course. And then we need to add the standard deviation. Now, the next thing is cumulative. And there are two options there. You write true or you write false. If you write true, it means that we want the values that are equal or below the target. So here is our target at 36. It means that we want to know the probability that the value will fall somewhere in there. That is for true. If we write false, we are asking, will it be 36? exactly 36. I mean, it's not possible to really calculate exactly 36, but like it's a smaller range, like better confidence interval that that would be it. Okay, so that's now you know what you have to add in that third parameter. So true, less or below, false, it means exactly that value. So let's go and calculate, we say true. We want to have equal or below, enter. And now here we have the probability that our friend here drawn will score 36 points is 72%. Let's change that to percent. Come on, percent. 72.22%. Yay! We know. Now we know. Okay. Awesome. Now, 
let's say that you want to test for different values. You would have to go to this 36 and then start to write, oh, what happens if it's 31? What happens if it's 35? Hmm. Okay. Do you remember that there is a what if parameter? That is what we are going to create. And we will have it minimum 30, maximum 40. We want to have 0 0.5 increments. So it will go from 30, 30 0.5, 31, 31.5. Yep. And, uh, oh, you want to come out? What? Oh, it doesn't want any. Yeah. What? I thought you could have Okay. Okay, let's do it one by one. What the what if parameter does is it creates a table with all the values that we want to test for. Let's go in there. Here we have all the values that we want to get test for and it added a slicer. We told them we want the slicer. So now here you can pick the value that you want. This is super cool. And now we're going to create a new. You can modify that, obviously. I'm just going to create a new. So slicer. And here we're going to have the measure that the what if parameter created for us, which is probability of score probabilities value, I think. A score the score probabilities value okay and now we go in there probability of score slicer so now we have our slicer we have our card we want to format of course that is a percentage again and now Look, you just move the slicer back and forth and you'll get new probability scores for that number. Cool, isn't it? Okay, it is Friday. Have a fantastic weekend and I'll see you again on Monday. And on Monday, we're going to celebrate. Until then, take care. Bye.